Formula One cars aren't just fast. They are engineered to stick to the track in ways that seem almost impossible. The secret behind their incredible cornering and stability lies in downforce, an invisible force generated by the car's aerodynamics that literally pushes it onto the asphalt. Every wing, every diffuser, and even the floor of the car is carefully designed to manipulate airflow and maximize grip. The front wing is the first line of attack. Its intricate flaps and elements split and direct air to reduce turbulence and increase pressure on the tires. This not only keeps the front tires planted, but also controls the airflow for the rest of the car. The rear wing works in tandem, creating a low-pressure zone that sucks the car down, while diffusers under the car accelerate airflow, further increasing downforce without adding weight. At high speeds, the effect is astonishing. A modern F1 car can generate more than 2,000 kilograms of downforce, more than twice the car's weight, allowing it to corner at speeds that would destroy a normal vehicle. Drivers feel this force, pushing them into their seats, while every millimeter of tire contact becomes critical. Even small changes to wing angles or ride height can alter lap times by tenths of a second. But downforce is a delicate balance. Too much, and the car slows on straights due to drag, too little, and it loses grip in corners. Engineers constantly test and tweak every component using wind tunnels, CFD simulations, and on-track telemetry. The result is a car that seems to defy gravity, hugging the tarmac at speeds over 300 km per hour. In the end, downforce is what transforms a Formula One car from a fast machine into a perfectly tuned weapon. It's the reason these cars can take corners faster than any other racing vehicle on the planet, and why drivers and engineers obsess over every aerodynamic detail. Understanding downforce is understanding the very essence of Formula One, precision, physics, and the relentless pursuit of speed.